Right now it is time for our chat with Thorin Christian Dotter, who, of course, uh, operates a, a Main Street magazine, uh, a magazine that you can pick up on a monthly basis for free at uh, just so many different locations throughout our tri-state region, but also their companion website, which is MainStreetMag.com. Good morning, Thorin. Good morning. How are you? Very good. I was so uh, impressed when I received uh, a press release. We're going to take a little offshoot because it does include uh, Main Street Magazine as a major part of this, uh, from the Northeast Historical Society about an exhibition that you uh, and the Millerton Library and the Northeast Historical Society have put together, the Turney family building a legacy in a new land. Uh, first of all, I want to tell you, I posted that yesterday afternoon on, up on the, the link to that on our Facebook page. Uh, right now, we've had 3,000 uh, people go to it. Oh, wow, that's fantastic. And obviously, there's not 3,000 people that live in, in Millerton, but uh, throughout the tri-state region, just about anybody that's been here long enough knows about attorneys. And what was nice, a lot of people also put comments just about their remembrances of attorneys. So many people do that, and part of the exhibit is actually uh, commentary and remembrances of, of special memories that a few uh, locals have had about the attorneys. I think they're... Uh, was it 13 panels that I put together and I think two or three of them have specifically memories and, and some of them are pretty sweet you know that kind of puts you in a time and place and, and it's very nice to read them you know we all have each town has their iconic residents okay um, that, that bring with them the history of the past into current day times uh, and uh, at Millerton uh, had Two really big ones that they've lost over the past couple of years, and uh, of course that was uh, Saperstein's and uh, and Turney's store. But there's certain members of the community whose vigorous support of community and love of community and the people uh, just surpass others. And Phil Turney was one of those guys. I knew Phil since I came here in 1989 when I was a little kid, and my brother and I used to go in there and get to pick out candy. And Phil was always so kind. My dad used to buy cigars and lotto from him, and my mom even, you know, made some wool sweaters that Phil sold. So, you know, I'm, I call myself one of the fortunate ones to have many memories of going in there as a kid and growing up and, and talking to Phil. And Phil was always such a kind, you know, kind soul that it was uh, it was always a pleasure going in there and having a conversation with Phil. I want to remind people now that, once again, the Northeast Historical Society, in partnership with the Northeast Millerton Library and Main Street Magazine, the exhibit, The Turney Family, Building a Legacy in a New Land at the Library during the month of June. The hours are Tuesday through Friday, 11 till 6 p.m., Saturday, 10 to 3. They're closed on Sunday and Monday. So I think that's that's really terrific that you've all partnered on, on that, and uh, it, it's just nice to see all right, uh, let's move and on. Let, let me just add, they also put together a uh, visual, an audio, uh, video type thing. So in, it, folks can sit there and, and it won't take too, too long to watch. So besides the uh, multiple multiple panels, there's also that um, portion of it. So I encourage everyone to go check it out and and uh, see, see in pictures and, and the video the attorney family. And for new residents that are living in our area who have moved up here, there's that. And also you can go to the old schoolhouse, and they have uh, put together a video presentation of moving the old schoolhouse to where it is now. So you, if you want to learn more about the area <laughs> you live in, you've got two good examples right there in Millerton, New York. Oh, they're fantastic. And Ralph and the team at the schoolhouse have done a fantastic job. And it was it was, the story of how they moved the schoolhouse is incredible and and seeing the images of that schoolhouse coming down Route 22 is something else. So definitely stop by the schoolhouse on the weekends when they're open and, and check it out. Oh, I remember when Ralph came to me and told me what his plans were. And he, <laughs> I said, what are you, have you, are you nuts? What are you, crazy? And uh, when I spoke to him just a couple of weeks ago, I said, geez, remember, I, I thought you lost your lid. He said, oh, so did I. But, but well, it all worked out. But that's the great thing about the communities we live in. And also a great thing about uh, the newspapers and magazines that serve our area because uh, you just bring back all that history. So uh, I, want to, I want to go back to, uh, to uh, the current issue that you have on the web, uh, the article by uh, C.B. Wismar, uh, Summer, Enter Stage Right, because there is Theater. entertainment. Yeah, there's, there's, there yeah. is entertainment in our area. 
So for those who don't remember or are new to the magazine, CB, uh, our quote-unquote arts guy, as he's de facto become, um, pre-COVID had always done um, <clears throat> both film reviews as well as theater reviews and you know, or even music reviews. Um, and so we are so excited to have our first printed piece back in over a year. And he kind of runs through, um, as of this writing, uh, um, where what's being shown and where, uh, starting with the Berkshire Theatre Group in Pittsfield and goes you know, to the Sharon Playhouse, um, to Shakespeare and Company in Lenox, as well as uh, Jacob Silla, Tanglewood and Music Mountain. Uh, yeah, it is there's just so there's. There's so much you can do, and you you can just feel it. I don't know about you, but I've talked about this with Ruth Epstein and other people. That for a year, I have what they call I have what I call a futures clipboard, and that is where I put things up that, in a chronological chronological order of the events that are coming up. And for a year, maybe a year and three months, that sat empty. Yes. And now it always has about a half inch of of, of paper on it with things that are coming up. So uh, we are. Reawakening out of the uh, the the slumber of the pandemic uh, into a, a different normal, but a, a new normal once again. So, and that's obvious with the, with the things that are going on. It's an exciting time. Uh, Mary O'Neill writes for you as well, and uh, she, she does. She's got uh, an article: "Getting Schooled at Work, Building Tomorrow's Workforce uh, Externship at uh, BD." So. For those who don't know, Mary, uh, besides writing for us, also works as the uh, career counselor at Hussonic yep. Valley Regional High School, which is a mouthful. Um, so one of the things that she does is basically, you know, connects with uh, businesses in the community and, and tries to expose the kids to opportunities as well as, you know, uh, careers that you wouldn't even think of. And for me personally, I thought this was fascinating. I had no idea about BD and the uh, size of it and, and the scope of it. So she shares, um, you know, her experience of going there and the types of jobs that some of the folks there have and, and their education and what they do and what's involved. So for anyone, you know, whether you're, you know, 16, 17, 18 or in college or even older, this is a fantastic article just to kind of think in a different way and, and look at some of the opportunities that are to be had. Well, BD is one of the biggest syringe makers in the world. So you can imagine during the pandemic uh, yeah. how, how important of a business they are on a normal basis, but during the pandemic, how, how big of a, a business and how important of a business they are on top of that. It just goes to show, you know, there are su such important people and businesses and, and things here in our area that on a global scale, you know, they may may be a building or, you know, a little thing that you see somewhere, but they make a huge impact in, on the global scale, and it's all from right here. All right, and uh, you've got a story that's interesting because, uh, to me, uh, and should be interesting to other people, because in the past week and a half, uh, the uh, Sharon Land Trust released uh, new signs at their different, uh, at their different uh, walks and pathways that you can use uh, on their grounds. And you've got uh, the next story we'll talk about, getting grounded, time to get out and hike the Hudson Valley and beyond. And you have, it's, it's detailed going uh, town by town by town where people can hike get out there in nature because that's one thing also that that benefited from the pandemic people getting out uh, and doing these things on their own uh, not amongst crowds of people to, to to hike these trails certainly uh regina kind of went and this is not a complete list by no. any means there are plenty of other places that are available that you can go to but she kind of tried to go <clears throat> kind of in our distribution area or somewhat in our distribution area in the hudson valley um, you know, from Millbrook, Copake, Rhinebeck, and so on, um, where, and into into Connecticut a bit. Um, but she, you know, was going off that. But also, you know, it's so important. We've learned this past year, year and a half, how important it is just for our emotional, mental state to be in nature and to just breathe fresh air. So this is kind of an homage to that as well, as well as highlighting these amazing places that we are privileged to, you know, call our, you know, basically our neighbors or be in, in the neighborhood. Um and you're right, you know, this past year and a half, you know, so many people have been exposed to them or, you know, learned about them. Um, some of them have become crowded now as a result. I know like Bash Bish has, you know, last year was just insane. But, you know, that's, uh, I guess, you know, you can't have it every which way. Um, so, you know, this, she did a nice piece of just a small compilation of uh, places that we encourage folks to take a look at. 
Well, uh, as uh, as uh, we uh, every week uh, sit down with uh, uh, and 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 talk about uh, Main Street Magazine and what's in it, uh, Thorin, uh, we will speak to you again next Tuesday and look through more of the pages and talk about more about what's going on uh, in the tri-state area. Sounds great, and I hope you stay cool. <laughs> no, always. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> Take care. All right. Bye. All right. Uh, Main Street Magazine on Robin Hood Radio. And, of course, you can find Main Street Magazine, as uh, I always say, uh, at uh, locations throughout the tri-state region. And, uh, of course, their partner, uh, which is their Main Street Magazine uh, website, which is MainStreetMag.com. Uh,